Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. On tonight's uh, video I'm using uh, a blank that I've cast from um, Illumilite. It's the um, amazing clear cast. It's a one-to-one -one by volume, not weight. I've added some eye candy pigment paste. It's the white pigment paste on this one. And I've cast some coffee beans. So I'm going to make a little, uh, little coffee pot for... Uh, just for a bit of a laugh and, and what have you and just really to see how how it turns I've seen plenty of other people do this and I thought you know what it looks fun let's give it a go and well the workshop has never smelled um, as good as what it did after we did this uh, this turning so anyway tools that I'm using today are Easywood tools they are the mid-size range and I'm using the uh, the negative rate cutters on this one obviously because it's resin and it doesn't chip out and there is the uh, the mid-size uh, easy woods uh, finisher there again like i say with the uh, with the negative rate cutter to be fair to this blank um it cast really well and it came out very nice if i do say so myself i i, I quite enjoyed this one Now I'm just parting off, uh, which will be the top, and I've got a glue block on there. Just parting it off there with, uh, with a little saw. I don't like to uh, send things flying across the workshop if I can help it. So now I've uh, got the um, the number one hollower from the mid-size range, and I'm just starting to hollow out to uh, hollow out this jug, or pot, or cup, or whatever you want to call it. Bit of fun. As you can see, the um, the coffee beans, uh, even though I stabilised these in cactus juice, they are very powdery so i was wearing my uh, my airshield pro while doing this because the smell of the coffee beans as well it was so overpowering a, a lot more overpowering than i thought it would be and for a non-coffee drinker it was actually quite nice <laughs> it was actually quite nice to be honest so just working away Working away into the middle uh, to get the shape that I'm looking for and uh, the depth that I'm after as well. And those coffee beans, I'm really glad that I did stabilise them because there wasn't a lot of um, there wasn't a lot of touch up when I uh, when I went to finish the piece after sanding or before sanding, should I say? Uh, that stabilization with the um, with the cactus juice really does help this uh, this process And it also it it didn't take long at all to uh, to hollow this out. I wasn't really going too fast. I was just you know nice steady speed, um, just really enjoying it. now just there as you can see now it's starting to turn a little bit more white at the bottom of that hollowing so now i do know i am past the coffee beans and just getting back down to resin Thank you. 
little bit of a slow mo there for you. I thought uh, when I was editing this on, I was playing it back. I thought, oh, do you know what? Got to do it. So now I'm using uh, cling spore abrasives, uh, sandpaper, and I am starting from uh, 120 grit, and I do go up to uh, 400, and then I wet sand again. As I've said before, I do sand from 400 wet up to 1,000 in wet sanding. And then I use the uh, Yorkshire grit uh, original and I thought I'd just cut that a little bit out a little uh, on this one and just jump straight into the uh, into the microphone And now that's done, I'm just starting on the uh, on the top piece. As I've got the uh, the bottom flat, um, I do put a little recess in there for a chuck position, and I flip it round so that I can finish off the top. After this is done, I follow all the same processes, all the same steps um, with the Yorkshire grit, uh, etc. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Most importantly please 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 leave a comment below thank you very much see you next time bye bye